Scripps Proton Therapy Center establishes San Diego as the regional leader in the most advanced healthcare technology. The facility houses a cyclotron that accelerates and controls proton beams so that they can be used in treatments to eradicate cancer. This equipment requires a casted place concrete made from high density aggregates to shield people from radiation. In simple terms, the more dense the concrete material, the less thick the concrete element needed to shield radiation. Locally and regionally available material for use in concrete would not provide a concrete density that would require thicknesses that were not feasible. The challenge was to develop a concrete mix from imported materials that would provide the necessary density. The easiest solution, of course, would have been to pay a fortune for very dense, heavyweight concrete. Um, what the team did is got together and uh, came up with a design thickness that worked within the parameters of the architectural space. Um, of course, the thicker these elements became, um, the concrete started generating heat, and so Morley Construction put together a number of mock-ups, some of them 12 feet by 12 feet by 8 feet tall, um, several of them, in order to understand how the heat would process, would uh, impact the structure. Um, the great news to that is um, the project went according to schedule, we finished on time, and this facility is going to start treating cancer patients coming this June. So they ended up actually uh, importing aggregates from the Chicago area. So the aggregates came in by rail, and to keep the aggregates separate from the normal production aggregates in the ready mix plant, the producer actually dedicated a plant, an entire plant, to the project, to the production of the medium weight concrete. Um, they produced over 20,000 cubic yards of this medium weight concrete for this project. The quality control on it was very tight. Uh, every load of concrete was tested for plastic unit weight before it was allowed to, to go over to the pump to be placed into the walls. Uh, strict temperature controls were in place. The ready mix producer added ice to all the concrete year-round on this project. The product tested out fine. The radiation levels on the outside were acceptable. No lining was required. The owner was happy. The contractor was happy. And it was a successful project. There are some major uh, logistical challenges and technical challenges of how you're going to execute concrete of that nature. It's not your normal construction project. It's not your normal commercial application. It's a different beast and designing formwork and pour, pouring rates and logistics to get that kind of concrete into that kind of space is uh, it's really difficult and this team had to do it without the benefit of ever doing it before. It was clear to the judges that the project team spent a great deal of time evaluating these different variables and trying to find the sweet spot for the exact thickness and density ratios. And then they overlaid that with um, careful consideration for regional materials and what was really available and economical in this market. Um, and that, I think, alone sets it off as a very technical project where the team did outstanding collaboration to come up with the best solution for a very scientific result. And, you know, what's not to like about a 21-foot thick cast-in-place deck?